my absolute favorite brow pencil in the entire world. Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and today on the Acne channel I'm going to be talking to you guys about what is in my makeup bag. Now this is the makeup bag I carry with me everywhere so if it's in here you know that I love this product. Let's just kind of go through what's in here. You guys know I travel a lot, I'm always driving a lot so I like things in small packages because I usually actually carry this in my purse or on my backpack wherever I am. So it's nice not to have to carry like full size products everywhere you go. A huge thing I look for when buying products or putting them in my makeup bag is, is it small, is it travel size, is the packaging easy? That's a big thing I consider. One of my favorite products that I love and is great for travel size is the Kevin Aquan. It is the Contour Sculpt and Highlight Powder. And I love this because it is super, super small and it has the candlelight powder and it also has a nice bronzer. And this is one of my favorite highlighters. It's a very natural highlighter. It's not gonna make you look like you're too glittery. It doesn't give you that Jaclyn Hill um, highlight effect, which is nice, the Jaclyn Hill Highlighters are nice, but this just gives you a lot more of a natural sheen. I think it just makes you look literally like you're glowing from a candlelight. And then this is a really nice bronzer. This bronzer I think would work well with any kind of skin tone and it doesn't have any kind of shimmer. So it's super nice for contouring. And I usually don't contour on an everyday basis. Um, but if I am doing something where it is later in the evening, I will maybe contour my nose and a little bit of my jawline. But usually I just put a little bit of highlight during the day and then I'm good to go. So this is a really great travel size product and the packaging is amazing because it has a mirror. So I would say this wins an A plus on packaging. I think it was like 20 or $30. So it is expensive, but for me, it's just so worth it for really good packaging. Another product I love is the Giorgio Armani Foundations. Now, I know they're super popular in the YouTube and beauty community after Kim Kardashian and like all the other celebrities use it. I do use these products. I don't think they're worth like $60 if you are on a budget. Like if you're on a budget, I would say splurge on some other products I think are worth it. But I think if you do have the, um, should I say money, or if you are able to spend $60 on a foundation, then you should, by all means it's worth it. But it's not like if you're on a budget, you have to do it. The color I have is 5.5, and this one is the Designer Lift Sunscreen. And I usually have products with sunscreen, but this is just the Luminous Silk Regular. And the reason why I love these foundations is you can just build it up and it doesn't make you look cakey. I think that's why it's so popular. It just looks like skin. Um, I have tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and that foundation makes me look like a sliding oil slick. Like it's terrible. I don't know why that foundation is so popular. This foundation just looks just really good like natural skin. And do you guys like my earrings? I got these from BB. And I actually bought a pair before, but they broke in half, so I went back to the store and got them. And I'm so sad now, BB, the stores have gone out of business because they have the cutest, just cutest clothes and also the cutest earrings. So the next thing in my makeup essentials would have to be the professional. And I love small things. And this is the perfect travel size. And you guys know I have humongous pores in my nose and so I just put a dab of this on and I pat it around my nose and it just kind of fills up those holes and it's a really good primer. The next thing I have in my beauty kit is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the bomb.com. I repurchased this so many times. Um, it's just a really, really nice everyday powder. I don't really have anything like amazing to say other than it's just my go-to powder and a lot of makeup artists use it and it works really well with oily skin because the oils in your skin will blend with the powder and just kind of smooth everything out it's really nice usually what I'll do is I will put 
a primer on, then the foundation, then the professional, and then I will set it with powder so it kind of like smooths everything. You guys, my absolute favorite brow pencil in the entire world, and I would say you should splurge on this, is something that a lot of people don't talk about. Like, I haven't really heard of anyone on YouTube talking about. Let's do a drum roll. My favorite ever beauty product right now. It is the Lancome Eyebrow Pencil, and it is in medium ash. Now, the reason why this eyebrow pencil is so amazing is, first of all, the tip is super fine, and I already ran out. I've gone through like three of these, but the tip is so fine, and, oh, I can't swatch it for you guys. The tip is really fine and the color is perfect. So right now I'm not wearing, um, I'm wearing Anastasia Medium Brown, which is an okay eyebrow pencil, it's not my favorite. But this, I find that like a lot of eyebrow pencils are either too red or too too black, you know, like, like a weird kind of color. Um, a lot of eyebrow pencils, especially the brown ones, turn red. This one is a really nice, neutral brown gray kind of color you don't want like red eyebrows or black eyebrows or brown eyebrows you want like kind of a light gray brown but like natural gray brown with like asian like hair and skin this is what's going to give you that and i also like how there is a tiny little brush so you can brush out the ends and you can also brush out your eyelash extensions if you have them i always get eyebrow pencils that have like the double sided the brush and the twist and i only get twist products now i don't even carry a pencil sharpener with me it's just like way too much effort in these days so this is the absolute my favorite favorite product medium ash um, brow expert by lancome now I've tried purchasing this at Nordstrom, at Sephora, at other Lancome counters, and most of them don't have this color. So I think I'm gonna have to go on their website directly and get it from Lancome. I usually try to wait to buy these products um, when Lancome has their like, you know, we'll give you a free gift with a $100 purchase or whatever. But I have found that a lot of stores don't carry this, this color. This is like my holy grail thing I've found so far. For my primer, I have been using this baby size of Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. There you go. This is a nice, nice foundation primer. It gives like some kind of shiny, like sparkling, shimmering effect behind your foundation. So if you're not really into that, then it might not be for you, but it gives just a nice, as you can see, a nice, shimmering dewy highlight and there's like a lot of lights here so it might not be able to see that and the last thing is one of my favorite all-time mascaras that I always always repurchase and I think Carly Bible talked about this like back in the day is the L'Oreal telescopic carbon black and the reason why I love this product is for Asian eyelashes it's really good because you can kind of comb out every eyelash and the formulation is not too clumpy definitely a lengthy wet formulation so you can definitely build up and I love doing this on my bottom eyelashes I've been using rapid lash on my eyelashes recently and my bottom eyelashes are really long like some of them are super long and some of them aren't but this is really nice to use on the bottom lashes and I get carbon black because it's just it's just the color I use. So yeah, I keep all of these products in my Banish bag. And I love this bag. We don't sell this kind anymore. We sell the kind that is netted because you guys wanted the netted ones. But I honestly like the clear ones better. But I love it because you can just see where all your makeup is. So like this morning when I was running out, I was like, oh my god, I need to wear fake eyelashes. So I have my eyelash glue and I turn it over and there's my eyelash glue, which is super great. I do have other products in here. I do have an eyebrow blade from Sephora, so you can just trim your eyebrow hairs, because my eyebrows hairs always look like grandpa hairs. And I also have a tweezer men tweezer. The best place to tweeze your eyebrows is in the car when you're driving, not when you're driving, but in the car, in that mirror, or like when you're on the bus or somewhere where it's like in natural sunlight, because you will see hairs there that can you don't want to see and I also like tweeze my mustache a little bit I mean I don't know are you supposed to do it or not I don't know that's what I do the giveaway for this video will be a $25 Sephora gift card so in the comments below 
tell me what your top five holy grail makeup items are because I would love to try out new products. Thank you all so much for watching the Acne channel. Don't forget we have videos every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. There's a hole.